so this isn't going to be much talk. It's mainly going to be mowing, but we've got the swamp again. Second time in a row, I came through with the mower. I outlined around here in the back, and when I see them get dark mud stripes, that's when I kind of take it out and I know my boundary. Uh, I just kind of outlined around it. So I'm outlined around here in the back. Look, at that. Look how ugly that is. Hey, it happens to the best of us, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead, whatever, you know, that like that. I gotta trim all that, so to here, all that's gonna be cut. I'm gonna cut with the mower. So that's what I'm gonna do here, all that. When I trim, after I get everything mowed, I'm gonna trim all that. So, but we're gonna go ahead and cut this. May 5th, uh, Friday, it's in the afternoon. It is nice outside, all right? It is sunny, it is windy, and it is cool out. So it's a great day to mow. Let's get going.
you've got yourself something funky. This is why you wear steel toe boots and jeans, especially when you do extreme trimming. Tip for you guys, stay safe out there. All right, we're here. All right guys, so I'm not gonna be doing much talking. Um, here's the thing, here's my upload schedule. It's gonna be from now on. I am going to upload videos every, it's gonna be at the end of every week. Um, it's basically just gonna be recap of the week. That's basically what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do individual uploads of each yard that I mow. It's going to be throughout the whole week, one whole video there. So you're going to be either seeing videos up on Sundays or Mondays. So in between that time span, depending on if I have to cut on like Sundays and if it's the evening time and by the time I get everything squared away and video edited and everything, it might be Monday by the time it's uploaded onto YouTube. So. So in between those two days, but uh, make sure you hit that notification button, the little bell icon, hit that, and um, then you'll get a notification on your phone right away when I upload a new video. So that's a good thing to do too. Hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and do it. Subscribe to NCLC. If you didn't know, I use Ugly Line and pick it up at Lowe's. It's really great. Absolutely love it. Last quite a long time. A little tip for you guys: always keep a spool 
in your back pocket. That's what I always do, especially if you're trimming multiple yards and you park your car or your truck in one spot and you don't want to walk all the way back to it if you run out of string. This is a good thing to do, keep it in your back pocket. I usually cut out about between two and a half to three feet of a trimmer line. That's about how much my head will hold. So. When the blood covers my face And the tears are barely erased We will find ourselves in